Right, hey guys and gals, it's Jack here from Peach Guitars and it's my great pleasure to be joined today by Dave Friedman, uh, the absolute Hello. genius behind all of this stuff that's on the floor and behind us here we're plugged into a small box amplifier as well. So um, while you're here Dave, yeah. I know everybody out on YouTube already knows this stuff but why don't you just give us a little bit of background on yourself, how you got started in this game and where you are now, just for anyone that doesn't know. I moved to, uh, well, Hollywood area, California, in 1988, and I started working for Andy Brower Studio Rentals, which was a big studio instrument rental company, mm -hmm. and they also did cartage for famous guitar players like Steve Lukather and uh, uh, famous studio guitar players, so Dan Huff, Steve Lukather, people from the time that were very popular, and I uh, started sort of working in the business. Originally, I moved to be a guitar player, but, you know, started working in the business, and... Uh, Needs must. And uh, I'll try to make it kind of brief. Uh, I started doing guitar racks because someone that was doing it for Andy Brower left. And I said, I, I think I can do that. And so I just pushed my way in yeah. to doing it. And I started doing it for him, which then in turn, that snowballs over the years. Um, so I started doing it for more famous people. And then Andy Brower started a store called Making Music at the time. Uh, which was a high-end retail store, similar to what you have here. Okay. Um, and, you know, that's where I you know, first met Jerry Cantrell and did his system and rig for him back in the early 90s. And, uh, and I also got involved with Bruce Eggnator during that time. And uh, I convinced him to make his very first uh, Eggnator products. Okay. The, the four-channel preamp that he had in the early 90s and the TOL head he had in the early 90s, the handmade original stuff. So you are to thank for that. Yes. yes, I was to thank for that. And um, which in turn, I also learned tons of amp amplifier uh, knowledge from him yeah. during, during that time frame. And, uh, and then it just kind of over the years snowballed and eventually I made my own amplifier line. Mm -hmm. And then- in the Continually doing rigs still to this day. Yeah. Still doing yeah. rigs for people. And then you know, in in the nature of that, it's it's kind of led in the past couple of years to pedals, guitars, as pedals, well. guitars as well. I was always involved around high end instruments, yeah. and uh, a big, huge background in vintage instruments. So um, the idea was vintage aesthetic and feel, modern playability. Yeah, and just to touch on the guitars really quickly. I mean, we've we've done some demos on these yeah. already, but there's nothing else really that's like this in that you know it's got all the the modern playability. It sounds you know absolutely massive, but it feels like, and looks obviously like a classic guitar, right? Which is still quite unique, I think, and it's a really nice touch to have. So I think it all. Well, that was the idea. Was, Hopefully, we accomplished it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I mean, I'm a telly guy, so that's why I grabbed this one just to do this little demo, but. They're all fantastic instruments, yeah, aren't they? they are. So, anyway, the real reason we're here to talk to you today is uh, there's a couple of new pedals. Yes, we have two new pedals releasing on uh, November 19th. So, any Excellent. minute now. Yeah. Uh, well, from the looks of things, and you know, we just plugged in very quickly and, and did a little bit of tweaking. They sound great. You know, it's got your stamp all over it. Yeah. It's um, it's all about that kind of big fat tones and yeah. tweakability as well. So, we're going to so start. The the, the, I'm going to start over this way actually. Yes. So the first one uh, is the BEOD Deluxe. Yep. So you guys knew what the BEOD was, is and still is. Uh, sold massively. It was a major hit for us. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to develop an, one that had two channels. You could toggle between the channels, maybe a lead setting and a rhythm setting. And we also added mid-range knobs at request of customers because they kind of thought that that's what's missing out of the other pedal. So if they wanted to get more of a mid-rangey tone instead of a more of a yeah, scoop just tone, to have more control. They could, that. yes. So now it has mid-range controls. It has all the same basic controls: volume, bass, mid, treble, gain, tight, a tight switch, not a knob, a three-way. Okay. Uh, gives you like nine o'clock, twelve o'clock, two o'clock kind of yeah, okay. area on the tight. So a little more amp-like <clears throat> maybe. In, in its kind of topology and yeah, well, maybe. I mean, the other one was basically the same controls, it's just uh, not minus the mid. So, we also have a presence knob on there yeah. on each channel. And there's internal gain trim pots inside, just like the original pedal had. Okay, yeah. So, you can knock back the gain or boost the gain up, depending on what you want for each channel. One for each channel. More than enough in there for me. Yeah, so there's plenty, there. plenty, yes. But, uh, and one thing that's important to stress about this, I think, with all your pedals actually, they work really well into an amp that's either dead clean or. Yeah 
got a little bit of, yeah. of hair on it already. When yeah. The small box that we're plugged into. We have not, it set pretty clean right now. It's, it's clean, but it's not clean clean. You know, if I, if I uh, give you an example, I dig in a little bit, or I play soft first of all. Mm -hmm. Tiny bit, just There's a tiny bit of breaker. There's a nice, yeah, EL34 yeah. compression. Yeah. And we got, you know, pretty loud as well. So, uh, so yeah, let's, let's hear All the All right, so channel. we're on the blue channel, which is the lower gain of the two channels. One channel is a little lower gain than the other. Okay, but tonally, they kind of... Tonally, they can be the same. Okay. Or different, depending on how you turn it. The top channel is exactly the BEOD with a mid, mid added. The bottom is a little gain back a little okay. bit. Okay. So, cool. here we go over this. Now I have this one gained back a little bit, the knob, gain knob's kind of low on it, so you yeah, can so get more of a rhythm sort of tone out of it. And you, you know, back off the guitar volume and it's, it's as you would expect it to react. Mm -hmm. Very full, it doesn't kind of thin out like some, uh, some gain pedals might do, so that sounds great. And that's more to my personal taste, is to have a little kind of, yeah. a little less gain going on, but just do a bit of neck pickup stuff for you. Great. And just to discuss kind of the, the thought process that goes into that for you, how do you develop a sound that's so thick, but it's still got all of that clarity? I know that's, that's a very magic. vague secret, question. Secret smoke, no magic. <laughs> um, uh, I don't even know how to answer that really. Okay, to it's change sort the of, question uh, slightly. Uh, 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 it, it's very important not to put too much low end in if it's an right. amp preamp section. Yeah or a pedal preamp section because it becomes muddy. Yeah. So there, there's a certain clarity with keeping the front end of it sort of lean on an amp or a pedal. Okay. So then the thickness, I guess, just comes in around. Comes in around with the, the EQ controls, you can kind of thicken it up or, or, or thin it out. And yeah, because there's plenty of room on the EQ there too. Oh yeah, you tons. Know, you could make it yeah. thicker or leaner, but just straight away it sounds, mm -hmm. you know, it's everything you kind of look for, isn't it? I know the amp is helping as well, but. Uh, <laughs> That sounds great. Should we, should we hear the red channel as well? Then, sure. So? so this is a set a little much higher gain. So there's a big difference in the gain level, but the, yeah. the tone isn't, you know, straying too far away from... No, not at all. I mean, you could dial it in just to be... The, they could be identical if you'd like. You're going to set the gains differently, but yeah. they could be identical if you'd like. So, so that's great for you. But most people rhythm relieve, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And equally, you know, you can match two different guitars to that. Or um, how do you find, you know, do you kind of suggest if, if one of your customers might want to use one of your amplifiers that has more than one channel, can you kind of happily configure one sound for one channel and one for another. You know, yeah, so totally you could, yeah. You know, would the, would the, the blue channel, for example, make for like a nice boost? Into yeah, and you can internally take the internal gain trims and pull it back even more so it's even a lighter drive. Yeah. If you'd like it, like it to be. Well, that sounds fantastic. I mean, the, the BEO, you know, the original version, I always felt was kind of, it's, it's an angry pedal. You know? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's very tweakable, but it, it's, yeah. it wants to be its yeah. own sound. That sounds more to me like it will meld with your own amplifier and yeah. you, can, you can really fine tune it to... You can get the, on the red channel and the top channel, you can get it to sound, if you turn the mid off, you can get it to sound exactly like the BEOD, but right. with the mid controls and everything, you have more control now. Okay, that sounds great. And should, can we maybe just hear the tight switch as well, how, how that kind of impacts the, um, particularly on the higher gain? Sure. Higher gain tone, is that okay? <laughs> So how is that set at the moment? Is that Just in the 
Yeah, you yeah. can. Well, I can feel it definitely. Yeah. But um, so again, it's all just about those little, right. those little details that mm -hmm. a lot of distortion pedals maybe overlook. Uh, so I think that's kind of the perfect manifestation. Yeah, it's a very useful feature. Depending also what amp you're going into, yeah. you're going to set it differently. Yeah, perfect. All right, that's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to another overdrive pedal from Dave called the Golden Pearl. All right, guys, so we're back with uh, overdrive pedal number two, which is called the Golden Pearl. And you were saying that this is kind of designed a little more around using it with a cranked amp. Well, it's designed to, it's a light overdrive, a super transparent light overdrive. So if you want to push an, art, an amp that's already, say, you know, even if you would use um, an old Marshall or something or anything, it's designed to push the amp harder, give it more gain, along the lines of a bunch of other, you know, classic uh, lighter overdrives, you know. But with, your uh, but, but with my touch and uh, it it's, it's really just gives you more of the same amp. Okay, so we're still in the small box on channel one, which is kind of your, I would say, maybe most authentically plexi mm -hmm. sound mm -hmm. from an amp. And we've just upped the gain a little bit. It was on around about 12 o'clock before, but now we're up at about eight. So if I play you the dry tone of the amp, you'll hear it's crunching up a little bit. But it does the all important guitar volume cleanup. So that's great. So I'll, uh, I'll yes. kick the pedal on. Okay, yeah, so straight away I can I can hear that that is the character I'm hearing, yes. more so than the pedal. More more of the same character, so yeah. it takes on the character and pushes the amp uh, just more intensely. Mm -hmm. And personally, do you have a kind of, was there a particular amp that you maybe voiced it through, or was there anything that you it had really in mind? It really worked well or? with a, a whole bunch of kind of plexi-style amps, or, or it really works well with anything. It kind of takes yeah. on, and the it, gain it, stuff it kind of takes well. on the voice. It has a... Three position voice switch, which is three different kinds of clipping. Okay. So right now we're in diode clipping. There's also LED clipping. LED clipping is a little dirtier, a little fatter, and a little softer sort of in feel. Okay. The, and then there's a middle position, which is no clipping at all, which it will act as a three knob boost. Gain volume and tone, which you can right. use it as a clean, more of a clean boost. Then you have a high frequency cut switch, which right now is on the brightest setting but you can trim off the ultra highs, like presence area. Okay. So if you were using this into a totally clean amp, you might set the pedal for LED clipping, and then you might trim a little top end off to get that slightly semi-broken, clean Yeah, amp so, the, so the pedal is kind of at its yeah. smoothest. It'll take like a clean amp and kind of turn it into uh, like a cranked up, you know, Vox or Supro sounding, you know, okay. old world amp kind of thing. If you if you if you play stuff like that. Nice. So, would you say this maybe picks up where the Buxom Boost leaves off? Yeah, Buxom Boost is totally clean. Right. This has some drive to it, so you are adding a little bit of drive and clipping to it, and a little more sustain. The boot, the Buxom Boost is a you know a straight boost sure. that you can EQ, which also works fantastic for yeah. you know amps that you're trying to push harder, but they feel a little different the two. Okay, well that sounds really good anyway. Well, I'll just toggle through the, the different voice yeah, options sure. and hit some chords so you can hear what that does. different from each other than I was expecting yeah, them to be. Exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the LEDs which you're on right now have a um, softer, a little fatter, uh, a little bit more gain than the, yeah. the diode clipping. Uh, diode clipping is just depends on the amp you're going into. So that may be... And you could also back the gain off in this diode clipping mode, you know, right now we have it quite high, but Let's you, do can, that you then. can back it off a little bit and then... 
see what it does. So this maybe suits like single note lead stuff a little better then if it's maybe. got a little more juice. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah, then turn it off and show people. <laughs> You can use it almost as an EQ, you know, if, you, if you just like that particular tone mm -hmm. and you just want to change your amp slightly. But sure, you don't if you just want to give it a little out. tiny bit of a push or just a little, a little more bump in the highs or yeah. dark or... Really nice. Yeah. Really nice. All right. Well, thanks so much for the insights into yeah, that, Dave. No really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed those tones, guys. You can find out all the info at FriedmanAmplification.com and PeachGuitars.com as well. So stay tuned and we hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.